Next time on The Gadget Show, John and I conduct a fascinating comparison of free-to-air TV services to see which is best for the whole family. I want the TV guy. No, 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 no. no, no, no. UK 400 meter record holder Ewan Thomas puts in the hard miles. Target 0.4 kilometers. To find out which run coaching app is worthy of a gold medal. She's telling me to increase my effort. Do one. Polly takes to the water and the sky in a revolutionary flying boat. Oh my god, do not even call the last. <laughs> 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 and Rachel and I build the ultimate portable cooking gadget. Yeah. yeah. A baked bean can barbecue. Oh, look, have a look. Oh, it's look gorgeous! At look at that! <laughs> I'd come to Fort Walton Beach in Florida to see an ingenious vehicle that has been designed to travel on land, water, and in the air. Clear prop. The Signet is the brainchild of aerospace engineer and pilot Michael Percy. <laughs> You buckled? Yeah, I'm all good. Good. Strapped in. Let's get to moving. Airtime Aircraft Incorporated call this an amphibious strike. It's impressive, isn't it? But what makes the Signet totally unique is its ability to fly. This maritime motor trike has a fixed wing that's been adapted from a hang glider. To help it get airborne, it has a 68-inch propeller driven by a 900cc four-cylinder engine producing 100 horsepower. Signet can take off on land and water, and going between the two was seamless. And even though it combines three types of transport, operating this flying amphibious machine seemed relatively easy. So just like a car, yep. you got a throttle under the right foot, uh -huh. then a brake under the left foot. Okay. And then I'm steering, and so this is just like a bicycle steering, but instead of with our hands, with our feet. Oh, okay. So if we want it to go that way, we turn our feet that way, just like we'd turn the handlebars that way on a bicycle. Ah, uh, okay. Controlling the Signet may be straightforward, but everything has been highly engineered. The floats, for example, act like pontoons, making the craft incredibly stable, and their innovative design maximizes performance. They've got sort of a tunnel underneath that captures the air, and they've got oh, okay. a split in the float here that allows air to suck in underneath the floats. So it gives you lift. It so gives it you kind lift. It glides a lot better. That's right, and lets you ride on a cushion of air. And the important thing there is that you're breaking the inherent grab that the water has on the floats. You've got to break okay. free of that friction, and then you can accelerate really fast. Okay, final check. Our wheels are up. Yep. And then Michael effortlessly got his airborne. And we're accelerating up to speed. There we are at 40. Okay. And up we go. This is... <laughs> that was so quick. With two occupants, this particular model Signet climbs at a rate of 1,000 feet per minute and has a top airspeed of around 65 miles per hour. This is quite unbelievable. This is quite a weird sensation being open to the elements. It feels like we're doing quite a hefty speed. I'm sure we're, we're probably only doing about the 50, but it feels faster. This is fun. Oh my God, do not even call the on. <laughs> I was having an incredible experience, but piloting any aircraft means having to contend with an invisible enemy that could strike at any time. And out of the blue, it did. That was the turbulence from flying through his wake. Wow! <laughs> what we experienced was the air turbulence created by the crew's signet that was flying alongside us. And because I was so exposed, it did shake me up a bit. That was a little bit scary. The turbulence added a touch of fear to the excitement I was experiencing, but I had to put that to one side because after a little tuition, Michael was going to allow me to pilot the Signet. You nervous about your first takeoff? I am a little bit nervous, actually. <laughs> I'm normally not this quiet. Yeah. I'm one of those people that you really can't shut up, <laughs> um, annoyingly enough. However, I am a little bit anxious. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Go all the way forward. All right, let it come back now. Uh -huh. Woo! Woo! 
Okay, relax. Let me get it a little bit. Thanks to the dual controls and quality engineering, I felt perfectly safe and totally confident. This is a moment of kind of excitement and sheer... Wow! <laughs> and you'll feel little bumps in the air. Uh-huh. And the best thing to do is just let the wing dance. When you feel those little bumps, just relax your arms and it's lay. It's like being on a mountain bike and, dry, and cycling through rubble. Exactly. It's like you exactly. just have to let the wheel do what it needs to do and you just hang on. <laughs> Perfect, yeah. And right on cue, more turbulence, just to test my resolve. Woo! <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that's like the white knuckle ride moment done. <laughs> It doesn't really get much better than this, to be quite honest. I'm soaring through the skies in Florida, doing 50 miles an hour, feeling safe as houses and looking at some of the most beautiful scenery. This is so James Bond-esque. I literally cannot take the smile off my face. Polly. Hey, Polly. I am je I'm jealous. I am seriously amazing. incredible. It really is so versatile. It takes off and lands on sea and land itself. It is the perfect recreational aircraft. And it didn't actually look that difficult to manoeuvre. It was surprisingly easy to fly. I thought it'd be a bit harder than it looks, but as soon as you relax, let your elbows go, it pretty much flies itself. OK, so, come on, what, what's the score going to be for the Cygnet? This, without a doubt, is one of the most thrilling and cleverest pieces of tech that I have got my hands on. And for that reason alone, I have to give it, wait for it, 99%. 99%? Wow, she's going to have to go into decimals to get any higher than that. Isn't she? Wow. Up, no, it goes wiggle room. Right to the top. Can't believe it's beaten the Maverick Fly car from last year. 7% more.